All right, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to state the quadrant in which the terminal side of each angle lies. The initial side of the angle will start off in standard position, positive x-axis. Now, 330 degrees, positive 300, because it's positive, I know I'm moving this way. So far, that's 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees so far. Now, if I went all the way another 90 degrees, that would be a full 360, but that's too far. So I need to back it up 30 degrees and stop right about here. Hmm, that was not the best, not the best arc attempt. Okay. So this is um, a picture of a 330 degree angle. So what quadrant is it in? Quadrant four. Okay, look at number 14, negative 70 degrees. Again, starting with the positive x-axis. Um, because it's negative, we go clockwise. Now, if I went to here, that would be negative 90 degrees, and that's already too far. So I'm going to back up from that and go, say, here. Okay, so this is a picture of negative 70 degrees. <clears throat> it's not all the way to negative 90. So um, look, that's another one that is in the fourth quadrant. What about negative 505? Let's start off in standard position. Um, negative 505, it's negative, so I'm going clockwise. But notice that it's it's negative, but um, ignoring that for a moment, it's more than 360 degrees. So it'll be more than a full uh, revolution. So if I start here and start going, that's negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, negative 360. Okay. Um, what's next after 360? Three sixty plus ninety is four hundred and fifty. Okay, so here's three sixty plus ninety. All right, that's four hundred and fifty so far. And don't forget, it is negative four hundred and fifty because we're going clockwise. Now, if I were to go an additional ninety degrees, all right, well, an extra negative ninety degrees, that'd be like. Um, 450 plus 90, all right, that would make 540. And that's too much, so I cannot make that last quarter journey. Um, so instead, I'm going to stop somewhere between. And that puts my terminal side in the third quadrant. All right, uh, negative 31 degrees is uh, easy to tell without even drawing it that that's going to be in the fourth quadrant. Because again, the terminal side, side starts out here. And uh, because it's negative, I need to go in this direction. Um, but 31 degrees is very small. so. That's just going to take me a tiny ways and drop me in the fourth quadrant. And that is how you tell um, what quadrant the terminal side of an angle is in. I'll see you on the next video.